Hey, what's up guys, Steven here. Welcome back to Future Friday. And today's topic, tablets with integrated DLP projectors. And today I've got here the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro. And I would say, let's get directly started and let's check it out. All right guys, so here's the tablet and the package. Now it retails for around 450 euro in the European region. And I have to say as a media tablet, it's really my number one. So as you can see, this is the box, Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro. Inside of the box, you won't find so many accessories. So it just comes with a very small user manual. And you also don't need so many accessories because as you can see, the tablet itself, it has a built-in stand. So that's pretty cool. Also, there's a charger included, and this is a quick charger. So um, it's a 24 watt quick charger, and it's a really, really massive charger with a yellow USB port, Lenovo branding here, and yeah, really, really big, and it can charge the tablet, so the huge battery in um, from zero to 100% in around three hours. So this is what we have got in our tests, and I have to say, pretty fast charging time because the battery is really massive. Now you probably want to know what this baby has got under the hood. And it comes with an Intel C8500 quad-core processor up to 2.24 gigahertz. Um, it's a 10.1 inch tablet with a very high resolution, 2560 times 1600, and it's an IPS panel, but it looks really beautiful. Two gigabytes of DDR3 memory, and we also have 32 gigabytes of um, built-in storage, but you can use SD cards, and we have Wi-Fi and GPS on board. Unfortunately, we only have Android 5.1, so no kind of dual boot, and also also, um, Android Marshmallow is not released right now, if I'm right. But the absolute highlight, it's the built-in projector. So it's 800 times 480 pixels. It's DLP, so digital light processing. It has 50 lumens. This is definitely not enough um, under daylight conditions. But if it's completely dark, you can get some decent picture up to 70 inch. So guys, um, all that in theory, but how does it perform in reality? Now, before we come to the performance, let's talk about the build quality and this is just simply outstanding. So it's really, really heavy. It weighs over 600 grams. So um, if you like to play games, then it's almost a little bit too heavy. Also, if you want to uh, run and gun with the camera um, yeah, through the city, then it, it gets really, really heavy. All right, so here you can see the front side, 10.1 inches, a very beautiful looking display, very high resolution, as I've told you before. And it's also pretty colorful. So um, it definitely keeps up with SMLED displays, even though it's IPS. Now, now, um, yeah, Lenovo logo here, as you can see, not too thick bezels, and here we have the front-facing camera, which is, by the way, 5 megapixels. The speakers are here to the front, which is way better than on the back, because if you're watching a movie here like this, you see it's like really a small TV, has here the speakers in front of you, it has Dolby Atmos integrated, um, it sounds really awesome, and yeah, the stand is definitely my main highlight, because, yeah, um, I really hate holding my tablet, oh, sorry guys, um, but yeah, um, with the stand here, it's really really, really cool. You can place it almost everywhere. And even there's a hole, which is actually for the release button. But I've seen people using um, some kind of hook to um, yeah, just um, hang it up in the kitchen or somewhere else. And this is just a simply cool feature. Now, it has only the best materials. So this one here is made of aluminum. And here on the back side, where we have the yoga logo too, it is made out of leather. So we have some kind of leather finish. Um, it's some fake leather. It feels a little bit like from the Galaxy Note 4, probably a little bit better, but pretty cool. Now on the back side here, we also have here a little flap, which you can open up. And in there, we have an SD card slot for micro SD cards. And yeah, in there, right now, there's a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, so you can extend the internal storage. Now, now here's some kind of Intel sticker and yeah, the rear camera, it's basically also integrated here into that round tube, which um, yeah makes the tablet a little bit thick. Now the tablet itself, it's, it's really sleek, but um, due to the integrated projector and the huge buttons here with the hinge there and the stand, it gets a little bit um, thick and also a little bit heavy. So also, let's um, stay here on the right side. Now on the left and on the right side, you have buttons. So this button here, for instance, it's a power button. But on the other side of the tablet, you have another button, and this is the projector button. So basically, if you press it for a longer time, so if you press and hold it, it will start up the projector, which is integrated into the tablet. So we have a micro USB port also on this side. We have the volume button, so um, up and down. And this one here slides a little bit up and down, so it feels not so super stiff. And we have an integrated microphone. So here on the opposite side, as I've told you, we have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and we have here the projector button. Talking about the projector, the projector is here um, on the top side, as you can see, and basically it also rotates with that stand here. So if you rotate that, you can also rotate the projector. 
And yeah, um, as I've told you, it's DLP and it has 800 times 480 pixels. So pretty cool. That's a projector. Um, basically to release that stand here, you just have to press the button here and this will release um, the stand and then you can flip it up. And you can also use it here like this. So um, if you want to type something, um, check it out on the university. It's just simply amazing. So regarding the build quality, Lenovo has really taken it to the next level. So the build quality of the Yoga Tab 3 Pro is really, really good, but also it's very, very heavy. And if you really have to carry it around a long time, or if you want um, just a sleek tablet, because due to the stand it gets pretty thick here on the side, then you should probably um, have a look at another tablet. But I have to say, build quality, um, the overall feeling, it's very premium. So there we go, guys. Here's the tablet. Let's check it out together. So we're here in Android, and as you can see, it's super snappy, so the Intel quad-core processor does a really good job. Um, also, 2 gigabytes of RAM is definitely enough here. So um, let's quickly go into the menu. As you can see, um, there is almost no bloat on there, even though there was something pre-installed, Lenovo eFrame, Lenovo Sketchboard, McAfee Security, so a little bit um, of the things which I would actually get rid of, but still very clean. Okay, so let's um, quickly go here to the settings. Let's check out what we can find here. So, um, as you can see, we have your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now, regarding the Wi-Fi reception, I have to say it works really, really good. So that's, for instance, um, the network, which I don't find on any of my smartphones. So it's the neighbor's network. I'm connected here to my T-Mobile um, home net box. Um, I have here the office network, which is actually one floor down. And yeah, I have to say, Wi-Fi connectivity is very good on the tablet. Okay, so let's go back here. We also have your Bluetooth. And yeah, Bluetooth is fully working, so I've used the controller just to play, but um, that's also basically it. And here under more, we have the usual stuff, so airplane mode and VPN, but um, no tethering and portable hotspot so far as I've seen in here. Then here we have the project, the settings. So, um, pretty cool that we have your keystone correction. So, um, for instance, if you're not um, projecting straight onto the wall, you have like um, a picture which looks like this, and we have here in the keystone correction, and you can basically adjust this here. Okay, then we have, for instance, um, magnify font in project automatically, so to read it better, this can also be very useful, and here you can switch it on, but you can also switch it on with the button, which is um, yeah located on the right side here near to the Lenovo logo. So if you press this longer, this is basically the projecting button. Okay, um, that's it. We'll later do a quick test of the projector, so in different lighting conditions, so that you can get some kind of idea how good it is. But I have to say it's not too bright and focusing. Um, it's a little bit tricky, but once you've got the hang of it, it works actually pretty good. And if it's completely dark, you have some friends around, you can definitely watch movies, so that's working really good. Okay, then here we have storage. So as you can see, 32 gigabytes of integrated um, memory and the um, operating system occupies like 9 gigabytes and available like 20 with some apps pre-installed right now. But yeah, my SD card is also working 32 gigabyte one, but you can put in whatever you want to. For sure we have apps and let's check out the apps running in the background. Sorry guys, so the memory consumption and there we go. So here apps running in the background. As always, it uses around 50% of the whole memory for Android, so pretty common. And as I've told you, just a little bit of bloat on there. We have apps, we have different users. Um, yeah, that's basically it here. Personal stuff, language and input. For sure, it's multi-language, it's, it's a Lenovo. And here under about the tablet, you can see um, the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 is currently running Android 5.1 Lollipop. Regarding Marshmallow, um, right now, no update. And um, yeah, if there's something coming out, I'll definitely test it. Okay, so let's jump back here. We have here the power manager. So this is, for instance, battery saver. So um, if you want to talk about the battery, so we managed to get around 13 hours of video playback on medium brightness. So this is pretty good. So um, Lenovo says up to 18 hours, but yeah, we were able to get around 13 hours, some 10 hours use time. And yeah, that's very, very good. And charging takes around three hours. Okay, so um, we have here multi-window, it's basically the button here, and this is also very useful. Like, you can add apps to your screen, and then um, just drag and drop it, so the window's here around the screen. So sorry, I have to do it here. And as you can see, that's also very useful, so if you want to do more things on your tablet at the same time. But also nothing special, because actually every tablet can do that. And last but not least, smart slide bar. Oh, so smart sidebar, sorry. And um, you can see here, slide from the outer edge of the screen to the center to bring up the smart slide bar. And it works here like this. Let me try it again. 
And there we go. So you can access here photos, you have your stand, you can um, also activate here the smart switch. So basically, um, you have here different modes, like for audio gaming mode, movie mode. Um, you can change the display colors, standard, reading, so it gets a little bit warmer. And actually you can optimize a lot of things. You can switch on here the projector. It can be very useful and you can also access here some applications. So that's the smart sidebar. Yeah, that's everything we can find here in the settings, so just a very quick look. The rest is just normal Android lollipop, as you can see, not really much customized. So you jump here directly into the settings from the Android status bar. Yeah, you have that multi-window button to do more things at the same time. And the tablet itself, it's super fast. So if you open anything up like Chrome, which actually I don't use so often, and uh, there we go, then it opens up immediately. And you can also use multi-window, like to have Chrome open, watch a movie, and even um, write an email at the same time. Okay, um, now there we go. Let's jump into the menu. Let's check out the pre-installed applications. And yeah, here we have a lot of applications. Let's get started with the most important one, the camera application. So that's the front-facing camera. As you can see, five megapixels. And well, it could be a little bit more wide angle. So the camera application is really straightforward and very easy. We have here the picture size. Um, the maximum is in four to three. Keep that in mind. If you go to six into nine, so if you want to have um, full landscape here, then you um, drop down to 3.7 megapixels. And as you can see, I can't get my face here anymore um, right on the picture. So the front facing camera is yeah, quite average, nothing super fancy on that. It also has got a denoiser and grid lines. So the denoiser doesn't really improve the image quality um, a lot. I mean, we can take a picture here and all that will be on our blog. So if you're um, into sample pictures, check out our blog. Here we have, um, for instance, video mode. So the video mode of the front facing camera is full HD. Um, sample videos will just come in a second. And let's switch it to the rear camera. So, well, that's a desk, but um, honestly, I have to say, um, the rear camera is also nothing so super special. So in video recording mode, we have um, full HD maximum. And if we switch here to um, photo mode, I can quickly show you that we have 13 megapixels, but also only in photo free. So if you want to have six into nine, it drops down to 9.6 megapixels. It has the same grid lines and denoiser and several movie effects. And the cool thing is the brightness slider. So if you want to have more exposure, if you want to have a bright picture, you can easily adjust that. So the camera application is easy and very straightforward. But now, um, if you want to have sample pictures, they are on our blog. But now, um, just some movie um, samples, um, which we have recorded with the Lenovo. So we are now outside here testing the camera and microphone performance of the tablet. As you can hear and as you can see there are cars around so there's some background noises of course. So let me just start juggling a bit and you see the dynamic range of the camera. It's a bit harder against the sun but we get there. Alright that's flow juggling. As you can see also color reproduction looks quite okay. Now it doesn't look so sharp here on the tablet screen but just check it out for yourself. Lighting adjustment looks also good and, as mentioned, maximum recording, full HD. <laughs> oh! Alright guys, this is the front facing camera and Flo has lost his balls. Look guys, he's still searching his balls down there. <laughs> Alright guys, so here's a quick front facing camera test on the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3. And, yeah, Flo is still searching his balls. Alright guys, now serious. Ah, fuck! Alright guys, so now serious. Um, here's a quick front facing camera test on the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3. So as you have seen, um, the camera is placed on the um, top side here. And in landscape mode you have to be a little bit careful that you don't cover the camera. All in all, maximum recording dimension is full HD. And just check it out here for yourself right now, lighting adjustment. So front facing camera looks quite good and also listen to the microphone quality because as you may know, it's quite noisy here outside. So all in all, looks pretty good on the Tab 3 Pro. Awesome. All right guys, Flo has finally found his balls. Now back on the tablet, let's check out the rest here. So we have here Dolby and yeah, um, the speakers, they sound really good. So you will just hear on speaker test in a second. And um, yeah, here you can do a lot of things. You can tweak your equalizer. You can switch it between different modes. We have here in surround virtualizer. So um, Dolby digital, we have a volume leveler. And just listen for the sound quality right now for yourself because I have to say it sounds simply amazing.
So back on the tablet again, we have here also some interesting applications. Now, not the E-frame really, because it's just like a yeah, picture frame, but um, we have here the sketch pad, which is really cool. It allows you, if you open it up, to um, basically um, draw on your screen. So you can pick your different colors, and that's pretty cool. You can um, make notes on your screen, and then you can save it, so take a screenshot with all that. So very useful feature. And um, yeah, I actually use that very often. Just if I have, for instance, on the university, a picture or something like that, I want to take notes to it because this is really, really useful. Okay, rest of that are basically applications I've installed and for testing and some other crap, share it, the user guide. That was basically pre-installed and a Yoga Tab Pro application. But now I would say, let's do a main test of the most innovative feature, and that is the DLP projector of the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3. Lenovo says the Yoga Tab 3 Pro can project images up to 70 inches across. Now this is really a considerable increase on the Yoga Tablet 2 Pro which has around 50 inches. And the performance is also very impressive. Now 50 lumens doesn't sound really much, so actually in um, normal um, brightness conditions, so daylight conditions, um, you can't really see anything. But um, dimly lit rooms during daytime, then you can actually see something and it looks not too bad. You have to keep in mind it's DLP, it's fanless and yeah, it looks very good for integrated into a projector. Now switching on the projector is really easy. All you have to do is just press and hold the projector button, then you will see a message and boom, you can see your home screen. You can now watch movies, you can even watch Netflix and this is just super awesome. So you can have a Netflix session with your friends, but just keep in mind um, the room should be dark or um, dimly lit. All in all, the projector here included is um, really impressive and this is definitely the highlight of the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro. You can focus with something like a wheel on the display itself. Focusing can sometimes be a little bit of trouble, but once you get the hang of it, it works actually pretty good. And the good thing, it has also automatic keystone correction, so you don't have to mind that you have some distorted picture. All in all, the projector on the Yoga Tab 3 Pro is very impressive, even though it's not so super bright with around 50 lumens. Alright guys, it's benchmark time and here are the results. 76k here in the end to the benchmark. You can check it out here in the ranking. And for instance, um, the um, OnePlus 2, it's a little bit faster than the Lenovo. And yeah, um, it scores around 80k. The Sony Xperia C5, also with the Snapdragon 810, scores 76k. And here we have the Lenovo. All in all, um, it runs Android 5.1, 64 bits, and all the specs are definitely correct because yeah, it's in Lenovo. Now here we have the Geekbench 3 result. Around 1,000 single core and a bit more than 3,000 here on multi core, as you can see. So that's also pretty decent here for that Intel processor. Okay, um, quick look here at CPU C, for instance. So um, the Lenovo um, Yoga Tab 3 Pro um, clocks here from 480 up to 2.24 gigahertz, four cores, and it's the Sherry Trail um, SoC. So it has Intel HD graphics here inside. Here are some um, device information, and I have to say it absolutely did not not get hot um, during gaming so that's pretty good so here also the battery 23 degrees as you can see so room temperature even after benchmarks here also some more temperatures but well um, the device keeps pretty cool there are not so many sensors inside so I can quickly show you that and if you have a look here at the sensors um, then you can see it has a magnetic sensor so this one here is working but it has no gyroscope actually also not needed on such a huge device it has no proximity sensor it has a light and orientation sensor and an accelerometer as well as a sound sensor slash microphone um, regarding GPS connectivity I have to say GPS is very good now it doesn't find so many um, satellites so third in here so this is something like the lower end MTK phones um, goes up to 16 maximum 20 um, and you can see here um, we're indoors in the studio and we can still get a, a fix here. So I've not used it really for navigation because this, this thing is really huge. But for instance, if you want to take pictures with um, GPS tags, then you can do that. Okay, um, that's it here. Um, it has a 10-point capacitive touchscreen. Maybe this is something to mention. So you could use all fingers and both hands um, yeah, to write something on the screen or to play games. And talking about games, let's check out the gaming performance.
Now the gaming performance on the tablet itself, it's not the best. Um, there's sometimes a little bit of stuttering, but it's quite okay also to play um, the most graphic intense games, Real Racing 3, Modern Combat. But anyway, this tablet is super heavy. Now, because of the camera I'm holding it with one hand, that makes it even more heavier. But at the top you have that heavy stand, and uh, I feel quite uncomfortable if it's at the top. But if I rotate it, I sometimes hit accidentally um, the power button and heavy gaming, and then it shuts off the display. So, well, um, it really feels like um, um, you would drive a car without power steering because um, this tablet is super heavy and if you play games for a very long time you will definitely feel it in your arms. So ladies and gentlemen, we're now here at the end of this video and I have to say in my opinion the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 is a very nice looking tablet. So it has premium build quality, something I forgot to mention is that I'm here and also the frame is made out of plastic but the stand is completely made out of aluminum. Then um, the display itself, it has very um, high pixel density, so around 300 pixels per inch which is really a lot and the integrated projector, now it's not super strong but it's definitely useful. Now on the downside is a little bit the performance so it could be a bit faster. The battery, well, it's quite okay for me, but some people want to have some more time, but I have to say for me, if I, even if I have to charge it every day, it would be okay. And it's super, super heavy. So um, if you like to play games or shoot photos all the time, then it could be a little bit too heavy for you and probably a little bit too thick, also with the buttons on the left side. Um, it's not so nice during gaming, but anyway, very nice looking tablet for 450. I would definitely get this one here instead of an iPad. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, you'll find a written review on our blog, so make sure you check out link down below in the description make sure to subscribe if this video was helpful that you don't miss any more reviews and thanks for watching and see you soon in the next one